Hi guys, uh, you're back with Old Barry. I want to introduce you to, over the years, which uh, a person that has become more of a friend. Uh, we initially met, what, two and a half years ago, personally? Actually, no. Personally, we met about seven years ago. I came to uh, seek you out uh, for the first time. Wow. Uh, uh, time flies when you're having rum. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, I, I guess... Uh, the this one comes later. <laughs> yeah. It's a buddy of mine now, Juan, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all about helping people and... Uh, Juan is Dominican by blood, was born in the country, uh, lived most of his life in America, but is now coming back to the country. And it's not about business or anything this video. It's about honesty and about Juan's already purchased property for his family. Uh, he's coming together as uh, Leanne and I, many of you know, are, per are building uh, our house right now. And he's getting to learn the ropes of the construction and, and things of that nature. And we're hanging out and having a great old time. So. Juan, welcome back. Pleasure to be back. Pleasure to be back. It's, it's good. Let's get Spearhead right to it. What are you seeing happening, and why did you decide to relocate to the sleepy little town? Uh, what isn't happening? The, <laughs> the, 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 the world is in, is in, is in turmoil, and, and, and you, need, you need to have a, a solid footing as to what you're going to be doing over the next two to five years because things are turning quickly and you don't know uh, from one day to the next where, where things are going to be going. Uh, society as a whole is, is very, very uncertain. Uh, life is uncertain and uh, the people that run the world are, come to me, are totally and completely untrustworthy. So might, might as well uh, um, uh, do for me while, while I'm able to because yeah, I won't be able to rely on on, on, on the structure of government, on the structure of society to, uh, to uh, help protect me and my family. How did your wife and son take to your thoughts on how you think about what's going on? Reluctantly. <laughs> but, okay, no, but, no, that's a great answer, but... But they, they came around, they came, they came around, they, they, because uh, I've been, I've been watching, I've been noticing uh, the happenings, the goings on in the world over the last, gosh, easily 20, 25 years, uh, been quietly uh, studying what's going on, and uh, my wife always said that I was uh, I was too much of a uh, of a uh, I wouldn't call me a doomsday prepper because I really haven't prepped. But somebody who was really too I was too focused on on on, on what I perceived to be what was wrong with the world. But now she's she's, she's coming around. She understands that uh, things are not uh, the way we thought they were. Yeah, not, not, well, Lori's not back in the States us. now, though, not to cut you off, but Lori's back in the States right now. We're actually at the car wash. Uh, we've got two different groups coming in starting tomorrow, so we're getting the old car all uh, cleaned up to pick up people. You have to forgive if there's a little bit of noise. But Lori, I found when uh, she just uh, went back with, with, uh, with their son back to the States, but... I found during our visit we had the opportunity to go for dinner with my wife Leanne, and I, I personally found a big difference. And wow, is she woken up? I'm not saying she's like freaked out or a conspiracy theorist or anything. I'm just saying I see a lot more of an open mind. She's a lot more receptive. She's a oh, lot more yeah. uh, more aware of, of of the deceptions and the uh, and the lies, the uh, the uh, the half truths and. And just basically the the the, the cattle herding. Forgive. <laughs> Crotch rocket. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But uh, no, she she's she sees, she understands. She might not necessarily uh, be a hundred percent, you know, uh, rah rah rah. Let's you know, let's, let's let's go out into the middle of nowhere, but. She sees that there's something afoot, and that it's not it's not the most uh, auspicious future for for those that are not getting ready. I see. Listen, um, you're kind of looking maybe now exploring a little bit into the construction phase, trying to learn a little bit from us and things like that, which is great. But um, you already bought a property. We're going to revisit it a little bit later. You yourself, do you feel? A little better inside that at least you're taking the physical steps to doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, which is the, uh, the reason I'm here. I, I'm actually I've, I've been in the uh, the country for about three weeks, and I still have a couple of more weeks left before I go back to the states. Um, I yeah, I need to uh, I need to get some some uh, uh, safety net, a security net, uh, where a place where uh, I can I can. 
on a pinch, on, you know, in a hurry, go back to for some safety and security for my family. I'm not saying that the world is going to collapse overnight. I, I'm not even remotely saying that. I just don't want to be in the way of shit when it does happen. Mm -hmm. and, and having something to fall back onto is it's ideal. And, and, and not only not only just for, just for safety, but, but the, the actual uh, uh, quality of life is, is unsurmountable. It's, it's, you know, it's not you know, a, a mall in every corner type of deal, but uh, it has everything that you could ever want or need. Well, our region is not like, it's very different than high uh, tourist areas yeah. and everything. And I'm not saying one's better than the other because that's subjective to the individual. Uh, I mean, some people like the wild nightlife, other people like the family, yeah. you know, residential kind of atmosphere. That's but, where I'm at. Yeah, that's where, your, uh, that's where your thoughts were. But the point, what I wanted to ask you was, do you feel John and me and everybody we introduce you to, we represent the place accurately? We don't sugarcoat it? I, this is my third time here. Wouldn't be coming back if it wasn't so. Uh, uh, I, uh, I feel uh, very uh, uh, very gratified to have run into you initially and uh, and to have established uh, a, what I perceive to be is, is and will continue to be a long-term relationship. It's been so uh, long, though, but uh, we originally met way back when I was doing uh, DR Escapes. DR Escapes, yes. When I started that. Yeah, this was this was back uh, easily seven, eight years ago, uh, and you were already deep into DR Escapes. Uh, not 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 long after that, you uh, you transferred over to uh, something real. Yeah, wrong. and there was no hard feelings. We yeah. just didn't want to expand up and yeah. down the whole coast because yeah. you can't represent that properly. Yeah. And real estate and what I do and what I show, I know my region, and it but is, I don't know all the others. And it is a very large and diverse area. Yeah. This is, this is not, yeah. the, uh, no offense to the other islands, this is not a small island. This is a very large piece of land. Leanne's uh, always saying that. You don't feel like you're on an island yeah, unless is, you see the ocean at the beach. Yeah, this is a gigantic piece of land uh, where there are multiple large cities. Uh, one of the cities uh, is, is actually the largest city in the Caribbean, uh, with over five million people. Uh, just that one city alone. Uh, uh, Isn't that where you were born though? I was born there. I was born in the city of Santo Domingo, uh, roughly 60 years ago, coming up uh, in a month or so. Uh, and uh, it, is, it, is a, it, is, it, is, it is gigantic. It's not uh, in any way, shape or form small. You will not feel uh, like you're... Like your, uh, 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 surrounded by 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 water, uh, it, you can go to uh, many different parts of the island where you will hardly come across uh, uh, anybody who who's ever been anywhere near the uh, the ocean. Let me ask you something about your your uh, using U.S. dollars. Do you think they stretch quite a bit further in this kind of environment than uh, they, they do back home? Oh yeah, no, by far they do a lot more. Uh, however, I will caution because uh, you know, truth be told, you have to be. I want truth. Yeah, you you, you have to be truthful. Uh, uh, things are getting tighter. Uh, the, uh, the 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 costs are are rising. Uh, it's no longer what it was even two and a half years ago when I came, uh, uh, where you could easily count on a on a on a probably uh, um, uh, a third or maybe you know even a fourth of the uh, of the cost on the same standard of living. I think it's reduced somewhat, but it's still mammothly uh, uh, more uh, 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 livable uh, 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 financially than it is in the states. I mean, you well, think. everything's going up, and uh, off camera we talk a lot more into depth about these subjects. And those of you that follow me on something feels wrong, know I promote these type of truths quite quite abundantly. But I don't think things are getting more expensive, even though the net is more cost. I think currency is losing its purchasing power. Yeah, that is. And there is there is a difference. There is a difference. Yeah, the 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 uh, the inflationary. Uh, uh, a difference uh, even in the states, uh, uh, things have have gone off the deep end because of inflation, because of the uh, the uh, overabundance of of easy money. Um, here, the the uh, the landscape is slightly different. Uh, there isn't an overabundance of, of easy money, uh, but but uh, the locals, as as with any any uh, any uh, society, any culture. They, they are aware of, of what things cost, so they, they are adjusting accordingly. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I'm not saying that they're charging you the same things that they charge you in the States. By no means, they are not, because uh, uh, even even though they might 
they, they might tweak it here and there. All the the uh, the expats know what something should be worth. Uh, so you can't you can't charge the same thing here as they do in the states. Uh, and 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 by far it's it's at least minimum minimum half the cost of living here at a minimum about fifty percent less. Yeah. Okay. Minimum. Yeah. Okay. And that's a sizable difference. You're not difference. talking pennies here. The the thing is. Um, Ron, you're certainly not the first one, but you actually bought your property sight unseen. Sight you unseen, me. yes. You trusted me. You saw it really physically. I knew the with area. Your wife and and everything the first time. Were yeah. you were you pleased with the? Uh, I I've, I've been uh, like I said before to Barry. I've been uh, uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, not because I was I wasn't expecting what I was getting, but because. Uh, I knew what I was getting, and 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 it wasn't. It, even though it was it was somewhat of a of a of a pleasant surprise, it wasn't. It was it was I expected because I knew the area. I knew what I was getting into. I trusted uh, Barry. I knew that Barry wasn't uh, leading me astray, leading me in, in into some sense false sense of uh, of of I'm getting a a, a uh, uh, you know a steal for nothing. Uh, no, this is this is you. You're making an investment here, and 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 it's quite substantial, but it's it's it vastly vastly outweighs uh, what it would cost anywhere else, even in the islands, even in the local islands. What are you anticipating the benefits of your lifestyle by relocating here? Uh, I'm Good a, question, right? I, 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 I'm expecting, uh, gosh, my health uh, uh, for one. Um, uh, I. I'm, I'm not necessarily, you know, sick, but uh, but I'm not. Well, we talk mentally or physically. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Well, no, yeah, just we'll, having we'll, some fun. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit the mental aspect. Of it. <laughs> Another video. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But but no, uh, uh, you know, physically, uh, you're getting older. You're breaking. You're breaking yeah. down. You you uh, you work hard. You I, just killed me I, when you said I'm soon turning sixty. You shot. You killed my day right there. Because I'm feeling old about now. Well, no, but see, but you you are you're. Actually, you're in way better shape than I am, and, and you're a couple of years older than me. Uh, um, but you're, and and I and I'm I'm sure that this this is a, a testament to your lifestyle here, because uh, you are you are in, in really. Well, when good I left Western shape. culture, because of lack of time and taxation and job commitment, I never had time to eat right, so it was a lot of fast food. I, I you and never when eat right I there. came here, I was believe it or not a 42 inch waist. I'm now a 33. But I eat like a horse. But I'm eating the right things that my body can digest, and I'm not shy on food. I'm eating yeah. huge amounts. Yeah, we, but we it's, eat. <laughs> it's a different. It's a different. When your body can digest what you're eating, as it's a, a huge. Benefit. As a matter of fact, since I've been here, no, no attempt at dieting because I don't. I, I think diets are, are tyrannical. Um, uh, um, you know, I try to eat healthy, but but I eat what I want when I want. And uh, I, I actually checked uh, the schedule, the, the scales uh, <laughs> a day or two ago, and I'm actually in the in the last since I've been here just over two weeks, I've lost almost seven pounds. That's amazing. And you're not really even trying. Oh no, I'm not trying at all. It's absolutely. Uh, I eat what I want when I want. Almost everybody we meet from either my country of Canada or America. This I cannot say the same for Europe to anywhere sensitive Greek. Forget about Asia because those people are all hardly on medicine. Yeah. But everybody I meet is on all kinds of uh, prescribed medications for for blood pressures and this and a lot of it is uh, depression cases and this. I, I like again separation creates clarity it's a universal law if I lived in it every day I might not notice it the same way as if let me give you an example and see if you agree let's say you had a friend that you didn't see for five years and this friend gained or lost 45 pounds you would say oh my god what happened but if you see them every day let's say at work over you would say hey have you put on or lost a couple it'll be of pounds? almost imperceptible exactly that's what i'm saying where separation creates yeah. clarity we aside from visiting my mom i haven't been back there for eons and i'm looking at all the people trying to better their life but they just are caught up in the in the, the loop the treadmill of yeah. taxation and work and income 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 
Uh, but they've lost, they don't understand that regardless of the price they're selling themselves for, it never enough. represents the total cost. It's never enough. Uh, Agree or disagree? Yeah, oh, 100%, 100%. Uh, to, to that imperceptibility of change uh, uh, that creeps up on you without, without you even realizing, uh, and, and, and being medicated and, and whatnot. I am I'm constantly on anti-inflammatories because of uh, the work that I used to do. All my joints are very achy and whatnot. Like an ibuprofen? I, I'm a constant... You see, that'll kill yeah. your stomach over there. Uh, um, and uh, since I've been here, I have taken it, but I've taken very little. And now, I, I do ache because uh, I have a lot of wear and tear on, 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 my, on my structural uh, my, my bones and whatnot, but... Uh, I find that uh, I, I've taken not even not even at one twentieth of, of what I was taking before I uh, break it down. And this is only over a two and a half week period. You know, I help a lot of people. John does. You'd have to agree with that, Leanne. We've helped so many that you already met some yeah. of them. Yes. But I want to tell you something as I close this. It's a it's a little bit. Um, out of all of them we meet, we like them all, but we don't want to reconvert. That's why we left Western culture. I don't know if it's because you're Dominican by blood. I don't know if it's because it makes you more open-minded because you know your people. I think I'm beginning to know them, you know. It, 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 it's, uh, it's a work in progress. Yeah, and I think uh, we've been well accepted into our community here, Leanne and me. And I just don't know what it is, but I am certain of one thing. I'm really happy to call you my friend. But we are a very uh, Dominicans as a whole. We are very welcoming people. We are we're very open. Uh, now, mind you, there are always those that you need to look out for. Oh, absolutely, uh, but, but absolutely. As, as Not a whole, naive here. Domin Dominican society, Dominican culture, families are very welcoming, very very giving, very open. Uh, and and uh, we're we're not we're not one to shy away from. Uh, from uh, uh, welcoming uh, uh, new members into our family, into our community. Uh, uh, that's not to say that, that we're going to be in your business all the time, but we're very, very forward people. We And, and because we're forward people, in a sense, we also are very welcoming people. Uh, and, and we like... Uh, 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 we're... we're I like to say that we like we like new blood into our into our genetic pool. In closing it out, because I don't want to uh, you know bother you too much with this. I mean, you've been more than gracious. But anybody contemplating changing the way things are in their life and maybe to a more relaxed lifestyle with more well, certainly better food and things like that, would you would you think even if they're leery, they should step out of their comfort zone and give it a try? The, the, the only thing you can be guaranteed of is that if you don't do anything, you won't. Nothing will change. You have to. Uh, you have to be willing to uh, to step out on faith, if you will. Go, you know, go out on a limb. Uh, try new new things. See new things. Uh, uh, talk to new people. Uh, there is a whole vast, gigantic world out there where where new experiences await, and, and uh, just just you know, go out there and experience them. And, live them and enjoy them. My father always taught me that everything you ever dreamt of or wanted in life is just one step on the other side of your fear. Yeah, yeah. So maybe take the step. Yeah, it's, uh, 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 I've always been of the opinion, and I, I might have heard it from you uh, a while back, I could have been from somebody else, but always heard that everything we always wanted is just outside of, 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 of that area of fear that we don't want to go to. Or Pat, uh, and 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 uh, trust me, it, as uh, uh, FDR once said, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Juan, it's a pleasure to now start calling you. Friend. My We've been a long time together. I'm excited that you're coming here because we will be able to spend a lot of time together and have a lot of fun. And who knows, maybe we'll even play around and, and do something together to kill some time. Uh, I'm all open. I'm all, I'm all available to, uh, to you and to anybody that, uh, that might be interested. Uh, if I can help with anything, uh, just, just reach out. I'll be there. I have a feeling you're going to be able to help a lot more than, remember, you're on step three right now. Yeah. We're on the 20-step staircase. I have a feeling you're going to be able to help a lot more than I, you might believe. At I, this I, point. I, I can't wait to see the view from the penthouse. <laughs> Barry and DR will talk to you soon. Peace out.